Subsequent investigation has revealed at least a dozen empty crypts. <laughs> Deputy Rick Cologne of Forest Green County Sheriff's Department. And where the red dot goes, ya bang! Welcome to Horror from the Grave on Psychopath TV. And uh, here we go, another week of horror madness. Let's get into it. The biggest news, the news we've gotten from various sources, our Canadian killer Shible, our horror hound, various other people. Twatter. Who? Twatter. Twitter, it's water, whatever. All oh, okay. The same. Yeah, it's all the same. All these people flooding the news. Texas Chainsaw Massacre has moved away from Platinum Goons. I'd like to have a moment of silence for a rescued franchise. This is like when you're watching TV and you see them tough, tattooed biker guys, you know, rolling up on a house. And, and they come out with little kittens that they just rescued the kittens. Oh, I know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What and it gets like. you. It gets you in oh, the yeah, heart. Oh, it gets you. So, Texas Chainsaw Massacre has been rescued. Now, is it just going from one abusive house to the other? That's the debate. I think no. Because it's not a remake. It's an actual sequel. It's the Saw Dude, so it's going to be really fucking raunchy and disgusting. Pretty gory. Pretty yeah, gory. it'll be gory as a motherfucker. Right. But the only downside is it's the following the trend yeah. of 3D. The trend 3D. 3D! Even we're sick of saying that. But, so, yeah. Um, yeah, it's going along the 3D trend, which is nauseating. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D, more than likely, is going to be a sequel from the Platinum Goon storyline, which kind of puts a little stab in the side. But we also know that the writers and such of Saw are original because, you know, Saw is original mm -hmm. and everything like that. So maybe it's just not a remake, but a new beginning. Oh, and what was that you other movie something? those fuckers did? The Collector? Yeah. See, that's another original deal they had going on there. Yeah, so that's right. Yes. Yeah, therefore. They made a, a couple of the dudes that made some of the Saw sequels. I think it was four, three and four or four and five. So I know four was one of them. Yeah, all I know is their creative and team their, yeah. is original. Pretty much. Undisputable. So, of course, Horror from the Grave will be... Uh, we Covering got it the in the news. crosshairs on Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Many ways it can go, and we'll hope that uh, the, the power of the horror gods comes through. Because it, it's, it's shown itself just a little bit, because Texas Chainsaw Massacre is broke free. It's like, bye-bye, bitches, we out! So does that mean they're not on New Line at all anymore? Um, now it's Twisted Pictures and Lionsgate. But it so was, it might be completely released of them. I'm, I'm hoping so. That. I'm sure the Horror Hound will let us know on that little detail there. That's what that's what we that's what we don't pay him for. So <laughs> hopefully he's got that for us. Um, but we'll keep. I mean, is Arlie Army going to be back in it? Is it? I mean, there's a lot of questions, and we'll see what's going to happen. The bottom line is they've been rescued. The orphan of Texas Chainsaw Massacre has been taken out of the abusive, raping foster home, and there it is. And that's good. You have no more fucking Michael asshole transformer and lick my nuts, babe. Nope. None of them. 
Like, fuck, we can't make no money off this for Transformers? You know how we were Shit. usually saying, right? <laughs> Damn. How, what's Bumblebee gonna wear at the Oscars? Fuck. We don't have Texas Chainsaw Massacre to buy his pants. Yep, we're slumming it now. We're, yeah, now we gotta go into uh, Goodwill. We gotta live get <laughs> And just whatever, like, uh, who knows? Fuck Platinum Dudes. Yeah, straight up. Fuck them. Yeah. It was like when we were saying... <laughs> Isn't that funny how that works? It was like when we were saying that, you know, we were screaming into the hurricane and no one was listening and all that, and then all of a sudden, Texas Someone Chainsaw gets out of there, so... Might be. I don't know. But yes, laid to rest. Laid to rest. Another thing we were talking about. Two and three have been greenlit, which is awesome. Yes, Another it is. original horror idea, story, everything. All now, the thing that would be cool is laid to rest two going to theaters. Yeah. Is maybe. it going to happen? Probably not. Maybe. Maybe. Well, there's always hope. Going to keep the faith. Like MC maybe. Hammer. Maybe. this motherfucker. There you go. <laughs> exact Mundo. So yeah, Laid to Rest 2 and 3. Also in sequel news, with the success of Zombieland, uh, Woody Harrelson was like, you know, I would have no problems doing this again. And Zombieland 2. So it looks like it just may happen. Possibly, the way it looks, it could be an October tradition like Saw. There could be a new Zombie Land as early as next October. If not, then probably the uh, October of 2011. That'd be way too long. Probably October of 10. Or Christmas time, maybe if it maybe a little later or something. Yeah. Yeah. See what but happens. But around this time is when it'll probably be out. And a little tidbit of news that I found out. That was actually supposed to be a TV show owned by CBS. That they owned it, Zombie Land, the TV show, and then yeah. they were like, "This ain't gonna do shit." We got CSI every fucking night. We, yeah. gotta, we yeah. got CSI in different cities: Miami, Vegas, New York, LA now. LA now, yeah. We got CSI in the strip club. We got it all, bitches. I'm I'm not gonna get impressed until I see CSI Walla Walla Washington. That's what I want to see. That's gonna because I'm gonna be like, really wonder what happens in Walla Walla. You know people get wrecked in all those other cities. What about CSI Transylvania? Or CSI Haddonfield? Or CSI <laughs> Crystal Lake? Those would be awesome. But, or CSI... I you know what would be really good? Like, seriously? CSI Detroit. Oh, dude, that would be awesome. Think about that. You guys but, can have that one for free, too. No, but see, that one wouldn't be good because I just saw this thing about old Detroit the other day, and no one lives there anymore. Everyone's moving out. It's like uh, a ghost town. Be all the CSI dudes running around looking at dust. <laughs> Holy shit, let's scrape up this little rat turd. Go yeah, people it. are flocking. I mean, could it be the first modern day ghost town? It may be. It's coming close. Speaking of ghost town, I'm fresh from Tombstone, Arizona. We'll talk about that in a later episode. Yes, we will. But, uh, holy shit. <laughs> That's all I gotta say at this point. Um, another sequel. Trick or Treat Two. The coolest thing about this is Trick or Treat busted its ass to get out of there. It's original and everything like that, and it sold the fuck out everywhere. This is true. Undeniable facts. Successful movie. So, with that, a guarantee. Trick or Treat Two. Yeah, the dude already said he, he's got the he's got the ending already down pat for the new one. That's what he tweeted, twatted. He twatted. He twatted that he has the ending. You're all up on twats now. Yeah, I am up on twats. <laughs> All right, man. We're going to be back with some more Horror from the Grave. We've got more news for you guys. And uh, we also have a message that we'd like to give you. Something from, from, from the heart, yo. Okay.